Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today I'm showing you how to create a really simple toggle macro. So this macro is going to fill a cell with color or remove the color. So I'm just going to click on the cell here, toggle the fill color. You can see it's got a fill color applied to it. If I want to remove it, I can just click the macro again. Now this will work on multiple cells. So if you want to fill them with color, you can do so, select them and remove the color. It also works if the areas are not the same. So here is my filled range, but now I want to remove the fill. So I'm going to click it once that actually fills everything, but with the selection in place, if I click again, it removes it. So it just does sometimes need two clicks if it, what you want is to actually remove the color. But when you're working through a worksheet, sometimes I find it handy to highlight something or unhighlight something and coming in here to the fill options each time is just a nightmare. So let's have a look and see how this works. But firstly, let's have a look and see where this color is coming from. So this is a sort of pinky color and it's coming from here. This is it here, except mine's a bit lighter and I'm going to show you why that's a bit lighter. But note that it is accent two. That's the important bit, the accent two bit. So well, let's go and have a look at the macro. So it's going in your personal XLSB workbook, obviously, and I added a new module for mine. So I clicked on modules, I went to insert module, that added a new module. This is my module that we're working in. So the macro works with sub switch colors, that's its name. It says if the selection interior theme color is the accent color two, which is the one I showed you up here is the orange. If it is any version of that orange, then what's going to happen is that the color is going to be totally removed. So as soon as it recognizes that a cell has orange in it, the if statement is going to remove it. Now, if it didn't have orange in it, in other words, if it was empty or it had some other color, it doesn't matter what color it is, but if it has something else, then it's going to go to be the orange. And the interior tint and shade is 0 0.9. Now this is in a range of minus one to plus one. The closer you are to plus one is the lighter it is. The closer you are to minus one, the darker it's going to be. So that's why mine is at 0.9. Whereas we saw the colors in the box here were quite a bit darker because it's a 0.8, whereas mine's a 0.9. So let's just go back to the macro. Now you can change this accent color. So if, for example, you wanted a different color from this option, say you wanted to use accent color three, then you're just going to make these read three. And if you want it to be a little bit darker, mine's at 0.9, well, we could make it 0.80, and that's going to be a slightly darker version of the theme color, but still pretty light. So let's go back into the workbook. Here is the orange fill cell. We're about to fill it with something that's not orange. So the first time I run this macro, it's going to say I'm not accent color three. Because the cell wasn't filled with accent color three, it's going to fail the first test in the macro. So it's going on to the second test and that's just simply filling it with accent color three, which of course is this green color. And then if I click it again, it's going to turn it off. So this macro is just going to work exactly the same as the one did earlier, except that it's using green. And if I want to go back to my original orange, which for this workbook, of course, this is all tied to the theme. So it's not always going to be orange, depending on what theme you're using. I'm going to take that up to nine because I like that color better. Just going to save the macro and then let's just run it. You can see it's back to orange and we're removing the color. So I hope this helps you be able to create a toggle macro for yourself and to understand how the theme colors are going to work, noting that these theme colors are going to change. So if you use theme color four, it's going to be different if your theme is different, but also in terms of the closer you are to the number one for your tint and shade, the lighter it's going to be, the closer you are to minus one, the darker it's going to be. Of course, when it comes to adding the macro to your quick access toolbar, whether yours is up the top here or down here, you're just going to click the button here, go to more commands. In the quick access toolbar area, you're going to macros, you're going to locate your macro and mine is switch color. So just click on that, add it to the toolbar, go into modify and change its name and perhaps give it a color, whatever you need there. 
and then just click OK and it'll be added to your toolbar. If you like carefully researched content like this, clearly presented in a step-by-step -step format so that you can get great results every time, then you'll love my other YouTube videos. So give this video a thumbs up and click to subscribe to the channel. And on the screen now, you'll see a video that I've handpicked for you to watch next.